So I'm going to draw the male body, front and side. I'm going to do two videos. I'm going to do first one for the front, second one for the side. So this is a thing I've done on the computer, so based on a real person. Um, and uh, here is a finished version done in pencil, so it's muscles and features and things put in. So there we go. Um, so without further ado, what you're going to need, by the way, ruler, pencil, good sharp pencil, and a rubber. I think that should be everything you need. And I'll be working on A3 paper. The first thing I'm going to do is use the the ruler, the standard ruler, and I'm going to make nine lines. So they should be parallel. Like that. I'm going to count. I'm going to count them off in a minute. The last, the last line, the ninth line, is going to be half the distance between the, the. Uh, so it's not going to be a ruler's width for that last one. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now for my ninth one, so I've measured this, so that's three centimeters, standard ruler's width. So I'm going to put in some marks. So 15 millimeters, one and a half centimeters, and put one there and put one over here so we can be sure that it's squared up so we have a half we have a half measure like that so then just for the sake of neatness I'm going to box off the ends I'm going to number this side as well. So a couple of inches in from this left hand side I'm going to do an egg. So just to refer you back to this again. I'm going to do an egg shape. So a little bit, a little way in from this. Now these egg shapes can vary a lot. Some are thin, some are round, more rounded. This one's a little bit more on the rounded side. I think I'm going to move it in a bit. I don't quite like it there. Just take it over a smidge. So remembering that an egg shape is slightly sharper on the bottom in this case. So I'm just going to sharpen up this shape. So sketch it out and then maybe a sharper pencil line. Like that. So then we want to find the center line here. So I'm going to guess it and I'm going to check it. So this is the way to check it. You get the point and you get your finger. So there's one, there's two. That was a pretty good guess. So there we go. I'm going to draw a line down to five and a half. So we'll be halfway between five and six. Just make sure it's lined up. Five and a half. So it's about there. If, you, if in doubt, go a little bit below. So there's about five and a half. Now I'm going to make a mark very slightly 
above that so something like that then I want a mark uh, for the, the collarbone the clavicle um, we're talking it's about a third I'm going to add a little bit more so third so say that's a third of this block but I'm just going to add a little bit more so I think it's about that then I'm going to put in a parallel line parallel to this to this line here and do it longer than you think because again you've got to rubber that's, right, that's not very parallel is it let's do that again that then we want to have as we can see back to the diagram again again this is this is done from a person so we know it's it's reasonably correct so take the head the width of the egg and compare it to that now it should be pretty much the same um, if in doubt if in doubt maybe just add a tiny tiny bit more just make them extra extra sort of muscular but Anyway, so I'm going to take this egg that I've done, like that, and I may put in a, an extra bit. So I'm going to just make, just try that with my left hand as well, for the other side. Lining it up, putting that one there. And then double check, it's always worth double checking these things, I think I might have messed up there. Mm, yes, I did slightly. But actually, I am, I'm going to add, I am going to add a smidge more anyway. So I'll, I'll go to that outer one, just again, just to make them a little bit, bit more chunky. So, okay, so I'm going to line up all of these points. Like that. Hmm, do I want to have it that wide? Uh. No, I think I will. I think I'll close it up a smidge. I think I've gone a bit too much. It's only tiny bits. Okay. Tidy that up a bit. Again, leave your working lines. It might help you to remember how to do this. It's the sort of thing to do a few times and then hopefully they'll, these measurements will stick in your mind. You'll start to get a feel for the measurements. Okay, so now what I want to do is to make a mark <clears throat> round about just before line seven. So I'm going to put a little, lightly put a mark down here somewhere on both sides. This is going to be where the knees are going to go. And I'm going to start, um, oh, no, I haven't, something I've forgotten to do. So I need to look, so I haven't, I've jumped ahead a little bit, don't worry. Um, so I'm going to put a mark for halfway and I'm going to put a mark just under it so I'm going to make the pelvis triangle so put a little line there now we want to work out how wide it is if it's a man it's usually this is this is wider than this one so this one's going to go a little so if we look at this one and we can see that triangle and that triangle so it's it's a bit you see that's that much narrower so I'm going to put that much of a mark on there and that much of a mark on there so it's reasonably balanced up so I'll transfer those lines down to there like that and then I can join up that shape there like that Mm, shall I do that a bit wider? I think I'm going to do that a smidge wider. Tiny, tiny bit wider. Again, these things can make a little difference. Just, just look a little bit, bit more convincing. Okay, that'll do. Right, so now I'm going to do the leg muscles. So this is from this edge of this, uh, this pelvis here. So I want a shape it's like um, like a sort of a, a narrow chicken breast, if you can imagine that sort of shape. Um, fluting in like that. Coming round. Something like that. So I'm doing these in sort of fairly light. 
um, first of all and then I'm going to do a sharper line as I go along and hopefully the sharper line you should be able to see better as well So that'll do for that. So now I want to do the same on the other side. So we want, I'll do this loosely. So we want it coming from there. Now notice with the figure, he's he's standing in quite a naturalistic way. So they're not symmetrical. Um, it's not the same each side. It's more like a natural standing position. So we want this shape. So again, it's this slightly coming in Like that I'll do it. I'll sketch it out first and I'll clean it up. Maybe just not quite right with that shape there. So we'll tidy that up a little bit. Now obviously if you were doing a muscle man all this would be bigger and everything like that. Probably this width would be bigger and maybe this one as well. Um, but certainly this one and these legs and the proportions but this is just a general average proportions as I say so next um, I'm going to do the knees so the knees are going to come so there's a, a an ellipse in other words like an oval sort of shape and it's just going short of number seven so I'm going to do it the same on the other side. They're, they're slightly, slightly differently balanced, shall we say? They're, you know, he's, he's not, he's not symmetrical as I've said before. So there we go. Now this time, um, there's a there's an ellipse I've put through here. This is trying to get the the roundness of the calf. So here we go. So it's a slightly off balance um, ellipse, and it's coming about three quarters of the way down to number eight so it's slightly on an angle the only reason to that for that is to get the outer shape and then all we'll do is just flute that in so it's a, it's a, it's a shape that comes inwards something like that maybe just clean these shapes up a little bit Could be a bit narrow that I'm just gonna tidy that up a little, little bit. So the same on the other side. And then turning it round and fluting it in once more. something like that so it's it's hanging at the moment leaving it to hang so he needs feet obviously and now I'm going to go for the arms okay so next thing we're going to balance um, and it's because it's going to be slightly on an angle this uh, this ellipse so it's to represent the shoulder muscle and it's slightly nicking into that shape like that and then now these two if you notice on the diagram that these two are slightly different it's because of the angle of the hand so the arm is twisted round so which will affect the shape of the bicep which is this bit so this is a thinner bicep because his hand his thumb is pointing towards you We'll do this ellipse here. Like that. I'll do a, a little ellipse to represent the elbow joint. Now this is wider than that, so it's quite noticeably wider at this point here. And I need to point this through. Like that, so his arms kind of pointing around this way. So 
something like that. And I'm going to leave it handless for a minute. So I'm going to do the other side. And again, similar angle. It's leaning on that triangle. And then I'm going to bring this through, trying to match what is, what's on the diagram. So a slightly wider ellipse and the elbow. Like that. And I'm bringing this through Round about to there. Something like that. <clears throat> okay, so we're getting towards a reasonable shape now. So I'm going to make a point just inwards from there. I'm going to make a few points to make this torso. I want to make a point just about here. So this is this point here. So this is the, the edge of the, the hip bone. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna have this shape coming through to there. So this this is sort of curving round, a little slight bit of a curve there. So we're gonna do the same over here. Curving it round and curving that round very slightly. So we're getting quite a recognisable body shape now. So now I need to get, well I need to do the neck. So the neck, now this can vary a lot. I mean some, some uh, if somebody's a muscle man or something, their neck can be really, really wide. It could be almost the same width as the, as the egg, but that's not very average. So we're having it sort of, we're going to have it this much. So I don't know, what's that? Just shaving off a little edge. So it's, it's that, say that sort of level. I couldn't even say what sort of measurement that was, but it's, it's like that. Okay. So now I'm going to have an angle coming through. Try and match this angle. Something like that. And something like that. We're starting to really get the sense of a body. So he's got no hands, got no face, got no feet. So I think the next thing we're going to do is going to make some uh, feet. He's got no chest actually. I'll do the chest next. So we have a have a point around about there. Now that's actually quite low. It's, as I say, this is done from a real person, but it's quite a low one. There's something that can go that could go certainly halfway up from where I've done it, but we'll do it here. Something like that. So then, um, let's see. So now I'm going to make some uh, some feet. Now this is obviously a, a bit of an optical illusion. You, you're seeing what's known as foreshortening. So if you had, if these were feet, so that you'd be seeing the ends of the toes, but you're not. You're going to see as you would from, from a standing position. So you're seeing shortened feet. So they're, they're sort of angling up towards you. So I'm going to put in, it's not in the diagram here, but I'm going to put in a little bit of a ball. So I'll just extend that a little bit. Put in a bit of a ball here. And we're making kind of flippers. So he's, I forgot to put the number. Um, so he is uh, seven and a half heads high which is the bang average um, proportion for most people. Some people go up to eight, 
Some people even go up to nine, but it's very rare. It's somebody like a basketball player or something like that. Very rare. So I'm going to sort of flip a shape, and then I'm going to do the same. Over here. Something like that. Make a bit of a, a receding shape there. So it looks a little bit on the strange side to begin with. So we've got the we've got sort of feet. Now he wants to have, well, next thing I'm going to do is mittens, so sort of hands. So we're talking about bringing that down roughly to five and a half for the, for the knuckle edge. And then the thumb knuckle here. Bringing that through, something like that. And then I'm going to do the same on this side. So this is this hand's in a different position. So we'll produce that coming that round there like that. And bringing that round there like that. Okay, so now I need to do some um, working out of the of the position in the face. So we've got we've got the, a rough sort of plan of a body. Needs sort of filling out with all the um, all the good stuff. But first of all, we'll look at a halfway point here. Now that's so just double check. Slightly out. And that's going to represent the eyes and then I'm going to go halfway between here and here so I'm going to put a mark in I'm going to go halfway between here and here so this is the eyes nose and mouth this is actually the bottom of the mouth and then the inside of the mouth the the line of the mouth is here uh, then we want the the brow. Now it's a, it's about a sixth or a seventh of the rest of that of the top that top section, something like that. And then the eyes are a fifth of the um, this the width of the egg. So if we say here's an eye shape. that and we need to to sort out the ears now the ears are from the top of the brow to the bottom of the nose so we'll make a little little shape like that I'm just gonna rub that out it's got a bit Bit messy there. So then the nose will be the to so be hitting round about that width there, where the eyes start. A little little shape for the for the uh, the blade of the nose like that. I'm going to make a now this is a little M shape like that and a little W shape like that and a little chin shape and eyebrows. Again, slow this down if you need to. Freeze it if you need to. A little bit of indication of the ears and the the um, the, 
the um, hairline will be something like that. So it'll be this measurement here. So from the, the bottom of the nose to the top of the brow. So it'll be something, okay, it's a bit, a bit like that. So that's the highest point of his hair. So let's have his hair just flopping down like that and give him a bit of shape at the top of his head. I'm also going to square up his jaw as well. So here he's going to square up that jaw there. Make it look more masculine. So he's just going away from the egg, just creating these little shapes. Like that. And then we'll have a neck shape. So really bulk that out. A bit of indicate, a bit of a Adam's apple. We'll, we'll curve these shoulders. Have a bit of a clavicle. And we'll flesh these arms out a bit more. Have that chest coming ahead of that. Flesh this out a bit more. Now, just put in some fingers. And a few fingers here. Again, observation is always important. It's just a way, it's a way into drawing these things. Um, let's have, let's divide up the toes. Now something that's going to really help with these feet is this instep here. So in, out, in. And then get this sense of the of the, the toes coming inwards that way. And angle that in through in. So so out, in, out. Make a bit of a, sh a shape coming in and then the arch of the foot there like that. And I think for a guide that's probably, that'll probably do. So okay, so that's part one. So I'm going to join you on the next video for part two. I hope you found that interesting. As I say, remember, stop the video, pause it, do the stage and see how you go. Actually, there's a couple of things I've just missed there. Just a couple of little six pack indicators. Very important. There you go. Thank you.